Well, because you're plugging it into the formula again, right? You're taking the a plus one, b plus one minus one, and pretending that's x. And then c is y. So then you're supposed to take x plus one, well that becomes a plus one, b plus one, minus one, and then plus one again. Uh, so he noticed that the yeah you see it yeah you were looking for patterns you were doing it geometrically actually like it gave us uh, like a set of tools so you start and you check to see if the right. if the differences were all the same. Sure, so you're sure. looking for geometric sure. and if geometric didn't work um, then you look for increasing patterns okay. and then or like you know it was like one thing by one right. and then it's not a competition so you, but I think no, and then you look for a pattern in the differences yep, yep. and then like you can just like follow yeah. it all the way down yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of my approach whenever I'm looking for patterns. Um, I think my the difficulty that I have is when when you get to increasing differences. Well, see, cause it's not this isn't it's not geometric, it's not exponential, it's not arithmetical. Because I did that on the I was doing that on the first thing that you were doing, right. you know, you try four and five. Or I just I kind of know because I talk about two so often that you do. Uh, you know, Corn series, and so that you have the factorials in the denominator. So I'm so accustomed to like, oh, so I've kind of memorized what the factorials are. That's how I know. It's like, oh, it's, it's cool. six, really cool. six, really twenty-four, one twenty, seven twenty, five thousand, eight forty, forty thousand, three hundred twenty. But that's what he does. That's a final output. Well, you have to get because. This, because it doesn't matter if you go to the next term, that's what you want at one time. So, so if that's 100, then this number is 101 times 100, all the way down to 50. You can also just find the final number of 1 times 2. When you have to find the outcome, what numbers are possible? Yeah, that's what he says. I mean, I think it's true. I mean, it's basically it's relationship between the <laughs> but you know what? It's still an answer. I like it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to interrupt again in about a minute here, everybody. Okay, I want to know. I want to know. What's, what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the great humor? Oh, yeah, overflow error, absolutely. They keep you falling into a machine. No. Because you came up with that? No, you all explained So we took your A plus 1. Yes. And we started with that, but then we realized that it's consecutive integers. So we switched them all to N, N plus 1, and yeah. so on. And so then Monica, who's trying to be modest over here, <laughs> realized that it's a factorial. Because you're plugging in N equals 1, basically, into your expression there. Right, right. Yeah. So we got 101 factorial minus N. Beautiful. So now you have an answer. An yeah. <laughs> too big. Oh, that's a perfectly good answer. Yeah. Right. right. And you know that any big factorial is going to end with a whole bunch of zeros. So when you take away one, you know this number is going to end with a bunch of nines. And so it's odd. Not only is it odd, it ends with like 23 nines in a row or something like that. <laughs> That's great. Oh, yeah. Go team. Go team. So I'm going to interrupt here. We're going to see how many of these questions we've already answered. I'm going to show you a little bit of an extension of some of this stuff, and it's, it's all pretty cool.